It's his first race as a professional. And it's truly just a new sport. Rowan? Yeah, let me finish chewing. <laughs> Jenna and I are leaving for Southern California tomorrow, and we're gonna spend a week down there leading up to Oceanside. We wanted to take a minute to show you what our race setup is gonna look like. This wheel is the fastest wheel that Vision has made. The Metron TFW disc wheel. I know we mentioned this in our last video and on social media, which you should follow by the way, <laughs> at Freestyle Try. <laughs> this year next, we are sponsored by Vision and FSA. One of those things that we are just so freaking excited about, especially as we get closer to races. You know in Spaceballs where they're jumping to light speed? Prepare ship for light speed! No, 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 light speed is too slow! But then they're like, we need to go to ludicrous speed. We're gonna have to go right to ludicrous speed! <gasps> speed. I personally have never even come close to riding a bike and riding wheels this fast, this light, this arrow. The wheel that I took off is, is light speed. I'm putting this one on. We're going to ludicrous speed. Fasten all seatbelts. Seal all entrances and exits. Close all shops in the mall. Cancel the free range circus. Secure all animals in the zoo. Ludicrous speed, go! most fun bike ride of my life. I can already tell. What? What do you want? Oh yeah, that good stuff. <laughs> you wanna say it's Friday? It is. It's the day before the race. So it's a good time for some big day oats. Because a big day is a coming. We got here like a week in advance. I wanted to do it this way because it just alleviates a lot of stress. <laughs> she gets her own chair. <laughs> Waking up the legs. Coach told me something yesterday. Whatever happens tomorrow, whether it's positive or negative, something good if I feel really good, just be very neutral about everything that happens. So expect boring Miguel from this point. A couple days leading up to the race, we spent some time in the expo with Quintana Roo. This is the best expo I've ever been to. Lunch, just carbs. <laughs> carbs in four different forms. Yeah. I didn't want to get bored. They have this service that anyone who has Quintana Roo, you can just bring your bike into the tent and they'll do a free like race tune-up and safety check on it. Flashback to last year of me sanding down my brake pads on asphalt the day before the race. <laughs> This is not pro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. and you're all set. Thank you. Oh, shit. All right, where are we going? We're going to my first ever pro meeting. Maybe someday I'll get that VIP Iron Man backstage pass. All right, 
Your dad just got here with a special delivery. Yeah, so we got some kits made by Rule 28. Two for me and two for Jenna. Problem is, they only sent the two kits for Jenna. Two women's extra smalls. If it's really tight on your quads, yeah. don't even try to get it up. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> just a little bit. Is it already tight on your, oh no. Can you come over here and let us know what's happening? <laughs> My dear, dear friend Isabel came all the way from Northern California. We're not gonna say that you're down here for other stuff. Because my kit isn't here, we have a blank one that does fit. And we have some Ooh. fabric pens too. Yeah. The finest from Joanne's fabric. Okay, so she's bleeding a little bit. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's gonna look like shit. It's gonna look so bad. I just don't want it to like bleed all over you. So what's the motto tomorrow? No bloody nipples. <laughs> uh-huh. And don't be a weenie. And be like Steph Curry. And be like Steph Curry. It's all good. We get to go swimming and biking and running. We get to pick up three amazing recreational activities and call it a profession. Why is everyone so stuffy about it? You should ask. <laughs> In the next program. Say, hey, 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 let's all be grateful. <laughs> yeah. Race morning. I forgot something at the Airbnb, so everything was super rushed. <laughs> yeah. It's like your very first race, period. Yeah, it feels like our first race. I'll come find you. I'll have my phone with me. Here we go. It's all happening. Stressful warning, always. It's wild to think that it's only your fifth or sixth. Like, you're still very new at this. 2021 was the first time you ever did a 70.3. And so, jumping into the pro field at this point, like, you're still learning everything. Have a great race. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's a risk for sure, but I figure if you have the ability to do it, which I, I believe I do, there's no harm in learning this way. Well, he's really excited about his yeah. first pro poop, so. <laughs> This one was interesting because there were like you know, 50 to 70 pro males. I was lined up on the far right. A few minutes into the race, I lift my head up and kind of like look around to see what else is going on. We are just way off course. We are not taking the right line. They're taking the right line. Once we kind of like hit the main group, I was just working my way up the field. No way I could reach the front pack. If I had started next to them, I could have been up there, but not this time. He came out of the water, 10th, onto the bike with a pack of like at least six people. That's good. That's good. I recognize very few triathletes, but I recognize Andy Potts. He's with Andy Potts and Andre Lopez. The unfortunate part about all of this, the beginning of the bike course is like super bumpy. At like mile 15, I look at my shadow and I realize that my two bottle cages in the back, which have all of my nutrition, I do concentrated bottles, my bottle cages were empty. So all I had was front hydration and then nothing else. Holding on at 15, the 39 mile marker. Brunch soon. He said he's gonna be done before 11. Huevos rancheros ASAP. <laughs> no one stops at aid stations. So if you slow down for an aid station, you're gonna get dropped or you have to work really hard to catch up. Yeah, I'm like shaking because I am nervous and excited and it's also so cold here right now. The first aid station, my hands were completely frozen so I couldn't grab anything. Everything is just 
at 100 miles per hour. You have to stay mentally engaged the entire time. It helps to stay in the back and you have to protect your position. The second aid station, 30 something miles in, managed to like grab onto a bottle. It'll help on the bike, you know, around, you know, any pods, you know, and some other people in there. Had to slow way down and fight really hard to catch back up to the group. Slowing down, catching up, slowing down again takes a toll, especially when you don't have your designed nutrition. He can run with those guys, so and this is a good debut. And he knows what to do. He's smart. Yeah. Okay. Talk later. It's all good. First cyclist just came in. Sam Long out on the run first, but Miguel is coming in in like two or three minutes felt good until it didn't, and then I bonked because I didn't have the nutrition that I needed. Holding on at around 15th, and yeah, I'm really excited to see where he comes in. Nice job. Then I kind of just soft pedaled the last 10 miles. Come on, Miguel, where are you? I didn't want to end up walking the last half of the run or DNF. Yes, Miguel! Let's go, let's go! I was nervous. Yeah, yeah, let's go! Woo! 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 He's looking solid at the beginning of his run, wearing his flashy new kit that has absolutely nothing on it. It's his first race but anything under, anything under yeah. as a professional, and it's truly just a new sport. I am proud of him no matter what, and he's honestly, he's just doing so, so well. I just wanted to be consistent and started out at like six flat pace. He is in 23rd at 2.2 miles. He's finding his run legs and yeah, we'll see what happens. I know I'm capable of going a lot faster, but I know why I didn't go faster. Running with somebody, so he has some company. He's around 24th or 25th right now at mile six. There's a lot of people that are coming up to me and saying hi. Just everybody, thank you so much and for cheering for Miguel. Every single cheer means so much. Yeah, Miguel, you're looking so good. Stay strong, stay strong. Keep it up. Yeah, that's the hill that I was talking about. You see the finish line right in front of you, and then they're like, second lap this way, this way. <laughs> And the slowest I came to is like 620, 625 pace, which I'm happy about considering all the adversity I had to face. with the effort that I put out, the consistency. I do belong there, and the more I do, the more I'm gonna learn. He looked like he was in a lot of pain at the end. I will say that. His toes were completely bloody. What the hell is that about? One of the big questions on Instagram was about your feet. You posted a picture of your bloody you race shoe shoes. You can still kind of see there's a little bit of stainage here. Oh, it'll be in the video. Oh my God. 
my stupidity that caused it. Dismounting from my bike, running into T2, and I tripped over my pedal or my bike, just sliced the, the top of the big toe and like the middle of the second biggest. Well, it looks better without the sun. <laughs> Your toenail may be off, but... Yeah, my, at least I don't have plantar fasciitis. <laughs> We were joking that like, everyone is so serious here. I almost felt like a kid again. This is what I get to do. Ew, your bike is disgusting. We're out here at uh, Carlsbad doing a little photo shoot with Quintana Roo. This race, I was treating myself with respect and joy, and, and I think that starts with just like how I went into the race with an open mind and just planning to have fun no matter what happens. That's how the pros do it, I see.